What's up everybody, this is Battlefield Joe 97 here giving you his thoughts and opinions regarding Sony's E3 2014 press conference. And I gotta say, it was pretty good. But granted, it wasn't good like last year good. And Microsoft, at the very least, they're both even in some regards. But overall, I kind of see Sony winning this year's E3. Unless Nintendo brings out the big bombs, if you know what I'm saying. But anyhow, it's kind of weird when you look at this year's E3 press conference for Sony and last year's. Like, last year's Sony press conference, it was about the games, 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 and then they had the whole use game speech where everybody, including me, was like, whoa, rolling all over. And at Microsoft, they were talking about games, but then they had to focus on the media aspect with the Kinect and the all-for-one entertainment that Microsoft put. Well, it's kind of reverse. Microsoft talked about the games more than Sony. Like, throughout the entirety of Microsoft's conference, it was just games, 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 piled up. Sony, they had to at least showcase, like, some TV shows for, like, Ratchet and, like, no, no, the movie for Ratchet and Clank, and then some other bullshit that no one really wanted for, for, wanted for PlayStation Plus. But overall, both conferences, they talked a lot of good games and stuff like that. So anyhow, let me go, like, in chronological order for the event. So first off, first shown was Destiny. Trailer looks nice, I can't wait to play that. And they've been announcing PlayStation 4 exclusive content for the game. Oh no, maybe PS4 and PS3 version, if I can count. And the beta coming for Destiny on July 17th. Oh no, wait, that's the alpha. The alpha coming weekend, like this weekend, and then the beta will come on July 17th. So that's nice for Sony to give out to the fans who pre-order Destiny on the PS4. So that's nice as hell. And also they announced a white PS4 bundle that will include Destiny. And I gotta say that white PS4 looks nice as hell. I mean, I still like the black one, but, you know, white is good as well. <laughs> and then they showed, like, this beautiful game known as Abzu that will make its debut on the PlayStation 4 first, so I kind of want to at least try that if there's a demo. So that's nice. And they showed, like, No Man... Oh, no, that's not going to really far ahead of this. They announced, like, PlayStation exclusivity content for Disney Affinity 2.0 regarding Hulk and four other unrevealed Marvel characters, which is kind of bullshit to me. So why the hell are you making exclusivity to that anyway? I don't know, I just don't see that for Dis Disney Affinity. Um, and then, this is the kind of a big surprise I didn't expect. Um, Grim Fandango having to return for consoles, and for that Vita, because that Vita need that portable experience. Well, you know what, wait, let me go back for Ren, no, Grim Fandango, Ratchet and Clank, the original Ratchet and Clank, Last of Us Remastered, and Grand Theft Auto V are going to make their return remastered in that perceived 60 frames and 1080p on the PS4. Now, there's some games like Grand Theft Auto V, for instance, where it's also going to come on the Xbox One and on the PC. So that's at least something. I mean, it felt like there were more remastered games announced, but going from what the highlights were that I've written over here, there were just like only four games that were remastered. Grim Fandango for the PS4 and Vita, Ratchet and Clank, the original, The Last of Us Remastered, and Grand Theft Auto V, so that's something. Um, PlayStation Network getting, giving new content, such as the Playroom and many more free-to-play games to come. And also, they were, like, promoting the Powers TV show, which we exclusive to PSN. Like, anyone gives a shit about TV shows on the PSN. Oh, Lord, remember the testers? That got off of shit. Um, they were at least talking more about PlayStation Now, which is going to come on the PlayStation consoles, Vita, PS3, PS4, and it's also coming to selective Sony TVs. I heard they were coming on, like, on PC and mobile as well, so but they were mostly focusing on selected Sony TVs. And for the most part, a PlayStation TV 
which was formerly Vita TV in the U.S. and I believe Europe, is going to be called that as it's headed to the West. And Project Morpheus was shown again for, you know, two previews of Jurassic Encounter and Street Birch. I'm still not convinced over VR yet, but, you know, they needed to show something because that's their product. Um, the only PlayStation game that was showcased, um, The Order 1886, I'm still not a fan of that game yet, a lot of the bullshits of the downgrade, and I'm still not convinced that I've seen gameplay of it. And I know some Sony fans are going to be on my ass for saying that, but I don't know. I, I really need to see gameplay because I'm just seeing a cutscene, a long-ass cutscene. Um, Little Big Planet 3, which, for one, I might get hate for this, but... I do, I do love the creative, the creativity that Little Big Planet has, like Little Big Planet One, a little bit, Little Big Planet Two that I got on the PS3. But I don't know, as a platformer, it just has floaty ass controls. So I really do hope that the floaty ass controls are fixed for Little Big Planet Three because I'm gonna need some kind of game to play on the PS4 that is exclusive wise, and you know, kind of looks fun to play with your friends offline and online. So that'll be a uh, hitch. Um, Bloodborne, which I believe is the spiritual successor to Demon Souls, that PS3 exclusive that was made from, from software. Um, it looks interesting. I need more gameplay and a little more convenience, convenience, um, convincing of the title, but, you know, there will be blood in Bloodborne. <laughs> um, Magicka, which for whatever reason they got exclusivity deals for the Magicka game. Um, the Talos Principles and the Babam, the PlayStation exclusive themselves, Uncharted 4. Uncharted 4. Uncharted 4. The Thief's End. And let me tell you something. That Nathan Drake in that CG trailer? Oh Lord, the dome be expanding. Just saying that out there. But I really do hope that the storyline is good, because, you know, the story writer for the Uncharted games left Naughty Dog to make, like, story for the new Star Wars game for me, eh? But I really do hope Nathan Dre doesn't get screwed by this because he looks handsome in that CG trailer, just say. <laughs> we go from it. And yeah, that's basically the highlight of the show. The PlayStation exclusive oh no wait, let me go for the end of the title. Um they showed like No Man's Sky. No no, that's not the end of the title, but anyhow. Um yeah, No Man's Sky. That looks beautiful as all hell. That's definitely a must-buy for me on the PS4. Definitely a goddamn must-buy. Um, and, oh, oh, one more funny bit that definitely needs to be in the most embarrassing parts of E3 this year. Um, <laughs> the showing of the Metal Gear Solid V Phantom Pain trailer that me and many other people saw early morning of that press conference, which is hilarious because they acknowledged that. Which is like, you know... We're just going to show this anyway, despite you already seen it online. Deal with it. <laughs> Whatever kind of shit. But yeah, that's everything I can think of for the highlights and reading from what I wrote on the Wii U game. But anyhow, um, the PlayStation conference, it was good. There was a lot of remastered talks, but you know, overall, those are good games being remastered. So at least a new generation of gamers or people who were playing on the Xbox then transferred onto the PlayStation PS4 will have the chance to try those games out. So that's at least something. If I were to at least give Sony a grade, I believe a B plus. Microsoft, I believe, had like a B. And you know what, let me talk about EA and Ubisoft's conferences. Ubisoft, they get a D, EA gets an F. They were boring as hell. They at least showcase games that we already seen in Microsoft and Sony's conference. Just putting that out there. So anyhow, see you guys later.